morning. <coughs> Got us a second morning in the actor. Quite interesting really because um, I'm probably not talking sense because as you can see from my face I'm not fully awake. But um, the actor spectacularly unimpressive really. Not not unimpressive. It does exactly what it says it'll do. So it's no surprises. Um got the hubba hubba and, and that were sort of just amazing space wise um, bits that you just didn't expect. You know, little little, little bits things, little surprises. Um pitching, construction, material quality, um, space, internal, head high, everything just really surprisingly good about it. Um, got the Svalbard um, SI. Initial thoughts were it's going straight back because it's too small and then I pitched it again and thought oh, let's, let's have a little go and um, yeah the um, foot ends a little bit on the tight sort of side you get used to the odd sleeping angle um, and once you get your head around that it's a surprisingly good little tent um, with quite a lot of space quite a lot of usable space up towards the back end the head end where you sit uh, quite a bit of headroom uh, quite a bit of livable space lack of a decent sized vestibule um, <coughs> is a bit of an issue but it's doable and you can angle sort of the way you open the door and peg the, the door back a little bit to give you some sort of cooking space in crappy weather. And you've got the the full mesh inner door that you can sort of open or seal fully shut, which is nice because you can look out and sleep with the, the outer door open and, and have a nice view. The Actor, so far, I've had two nights in the Actor. It were a bit more difficult to pitch than I thought, not as intuitive as something like the Svalbard um, SI or the Hubba Hubba. And for a single pull, as a first time pitch, it probably took longer than any of the other tents I've got. Um, I pitched it initially and, and it, were all, it were all to cock really, it looked, looked a bloody mess. So a single pull, supposedly easy pitch, I certainly wouldn't have wanted to have pitched it in shitty conditions for the first time because it would have been a mess and apparently the, you know, the pitch is, is what gives it its strength in poor conditions so anyway got it pitched I've used it for two nights and I'll give you a quick show around so foot end there was a bit more room my sleeping mat further back but Colin's with me and he decided not to sleep on his bed that I've provided him with but to sleep at the head end of the tent and he's nudged the mat down as time's gone on sorry Colin telling people about you uh, yeah so that's that behind we've got sort of Colin's uh, area with his food and one thing another and then a load of my crap my crap my crap pillow and then all my wash kit and bits and bobs of extras there is a nice little pocket there that I've got like a USB cable with glasses instruction manual radio um, power a couple of power bank chargers um, spare sleep mat tested me me long like exterm in here but I brought the, the standard just in case because I had problems with the Svalbard fitting the sleep the long wide sleep mat in so I had to use a standard um X therm X light or whatever it is thermarest thermarest sorry not X therm thermarest X light mumbling um and then I've got sort of shoes, rubbish end, um, usable vestibule, 
I'm not sure whether you can see this, whether it's all in focus. Um, ignore the feet. Um, but yeah, and then I've got my rucksack and bits and bobs of stuff in there. Um, water, orange juice, milkshakes, teas, coffees. So yeah, pl plenty of things in here. Um, and the vent is nice, you can sort of zip it open a bit. Zip it fully open. See what's going on with the world. And to that extent, I'm impressed. It's held up well in the rain. Um, a lot of people talked about condensation on the inside, and you know, me and Colin's been here. It's a damp, muggy night. We're at the side of a river. And just no condensation. Certainly nothing excessive. Um, nothing at all on the inner tent like some people have suggested they're getting so whether they're not venting properly I don't know um, but yeah it, it does what it says but I can't say I'm pleasantly sort of surprised by anything that I wasn't aware of there's no little hidden gems I don't think with this tent it does what it says um, and the proof of the pudding will be in the winter time when we do get the crappy weather and we'll see how it holds up but no I'm, I am impressed but just it does what it says it will do so far okie dokie we'll, we'll, um, we'll come back and, and have another look um, when we've tested it a little bit more this is just really initial thoughts on the usability and livability especially considering I've been stuck in with the rain for 24 hours Okay, see you later.